Hey everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be continuing the Smart Home Kit accessory series with the Akara Smart Lock U200, which is a revolutionary lock here in Europe since it's the first one that supports the Apple Home Key feature. And I'd say let's just dig in right into the unboxing and setup of this awesome new Smart Lock. Opening the box we can see we're greeted by the two parts of it. We've got the keypad which has the NFC reader and fingerprint built into it, which is a crucial part of the lock, and of course the actual lock itself, which is a really cool retrofit solution that should fit on most EU doors. Furthermore, in the box we've got some little accessory pouches which have all the mounting hardware and accessories we need to get the lock installed. Here we've got the battery, as well as the user's manual, and some adhesive pads for your locks, if they have different sizes as well, these little spacer pads and mounting hardware. We've also got this little tiny USB-C to C cable that you can then use to charge the actual lock. And of course we've got some more mounting hardware for the lock. And last but not least, in here we've got our favourite accessory, a pouch. Can't have a product without a good pouch, right? And this pouch is really cool, <laughs> I'll show you how it works later on, but you'll be surprised. Now, this is a little battery, and here we see it's got the USB-C input. This is what we'll use to charge it, and these little AAA batteries are used for the actual keypad. We've also got various amounts of mounting hardware depending on your lock configuration. And installed is actually pretty easy, and it starts by taking off the back panel. The keypad is then also really easy to install, and you can just stick that to your door, or use the mounting screws for a more secure fit. But I would say, let's take all this hardware to the door and get it installed. It all pretty much begins with the Akara app. What you'll do here is start by adding an accessory and selecting it from the drop down list here, Smart Lock U200. And then actually the app has a really good installation tutorial. You basically select kind of what key, what door you have, and it shows you little videos of every step needed in the whole install process. So going over to the door, we need this little mounting bracket, which is the backplate of the actual door lock and also the sticky adhesive because the cylinder doesn't extrude enough. Then what we can do is take that sticky adhesive and attach it to the back of the mounting bracket and stick that to our door. We'll then just test with the key if everything works and get started by actually attaching the door lock. We use these little screws that are included in the box and a screwdriver and then just screw the whole lock into place. Once that's pretty much done, we can get started by installing the battery. There's this little alignment pin here with the yellow dot, we just push that in and once that's done, the whole door lock is actually already pretty much ready to set up. What we can do next is take the little keypad, remove the back plate and stick that to our door. Also, we should fully load it up with the AAA batteries which are included in the box and we're pretty much ready now to go with these two guys. From here, you can then use the Akara app to start the pairing process. You want to press that little set button, then scan the QR code, and it will guide you through the next steps in the app, as well as adding a user to the door lock, which will then ask you to add your fingerprint and set a pin code. From there, I did also then do the calibration process. Basically, you have to kind of like have the door open, closed. It will then check the different distances and also how far to extrude the actual lock and pretty much take care of everything from there. And once that's done, we're actually already ready to use the lock here in Bluetooth mode. But of course, we do want to use that smart home integration into HomeKit, right? So first things first, firmware upgrade. This was kind of necessary just to get everything to later status. Once that was done though, I could press the set button, go to the home app and scan that little matter QR code. And with that scanned, it was pretty fast to actually add into home app. Once that was done, Home actually prompted me to install the home key, which you just tap to press OK. You set a pin code and once that's done, your key will be added to the wallet. What's really cool is since this is actually Matter enabled, you can go into the home app and now share the lock to any other smart home. So in my case, I actually wanted it to be added into Google Home and you can then easily add another Matter accessory. And from there, we've actually got the full functionality all set up. So unlocking and locking works perfectly fine and we can also use the pin pad with our fingerprint to unlock the door. And what's pretty cool is you get a little notification if enabled in the home app about the current status. Now of course the last thing left is to attach the actual pin pad to our door and this just goes with a double sided adhesive here on the back of the mounting bracket, align that nicely and then clip in the keypad itself. 
And with that installed, we're ready to go. We've got our home key in our wallet and the door starts automatically unlocking. Now, that little pouch, right? It's actually really cool because it's used to charge the actual lock. So you don't need to always take out the battery from the lock. Instead, you can just use a power bank and charge the lock by using the power bank attached into the pouch and just hook it around the lock. I think this is absolutely genius because it's a really clean solution. You don't end up losing batteries or anything. And once you're done, you just pop onto the little front plate and you're ready to go and the battery should last for a long time. Now, the home key functionality is absolutely brilliant. It works with both your iPhone in express key mode and it also works on your Apple Watch. What I ended up doing is enabling the auto latch feature which retracts the door lock a little bit further and actually lets me open the door from the outside because my door doesn't have a door handle outside. So the door automatically opens as soon as I bring my watch or my iPhone next to it or use the pin or fingerprint feature. And all in all, I've been using the lock for the last two weeks and it's been absolutely fantastic. I really love how fast and actually quick it is to open and lock the door. It's also been really, really sturdy with the matter integration. It's never gone offline and it's always been working flawlessly when entering the apartment. I also really like the installation process. I think this is one thing to really highlight is the Akara app. How easy the Akara app made the whole install. It literally guides you from start to finish the whole process through and you've got the lock installed in less than half an hour. And overall, I love the design of it too. It looks so clean, it blends in perfectly and it doesn't look like you've got some crazy tech attached to your apartment. And I think that sums up the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know if you do have any questions in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and bye for now.